Then you know if you take two bottles of beer away from 100 bottles of beer in the wall, you have 99 bottles of beer left on the wall? Mm -hmm. I have another hour left to sing. <laughs> Didn't you know that pi is approximated as 4.252610376? Didn't you know James Bond is known as 008, 13 times 8, and 118? One thrice 8 would work too. And what's up, Didn't you know I was twitter knighted when I denied my ex-girlfriend? Didn't you know we go read the bathroom off 11? Didn't you know a bike is an 11 cell used while I eat? Didn't you know the capital of Sudan is Karthreen? Didn't you know I played in the PGA career? Didn't you know you need three? Be careful when stretching your Achilles to Lebanon. Didn't you know Ulysses S. Grant is resting in his dream? Didn't you know I watched Earth Rings when I was a kid? Didn't you know I used a three a three paste when I brushed my teeth? Didn't you know I enjoyed Niners ice cream? Didn't you know I let out all fruits after I ate my castles? Didn't you know a five night last three weeks? Didn't you know some military, some military inclinations are called fights? Didn't you know I greeted math when I was in college? Didn't you know your Cajun chased down the criminal? Didn't you know one plus one equals one? Didn't you know two plus two equals three? Didn't you know one minus one equals one? Didn't you know one hundred plus one hundred equals one hundred ninety-nine? Didn't you know I earned the letter after teaching five penny years? Didn't you know I watched the four penny opera? Didn't you know I am studying Pike Chi Do? Didn't you know my pet is a cockatoo? Didn't you know I love free watch the four stretches? Didn't you know the the signs of matter are solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Didn't you know I can drive a nine truck? Didn't you know Greg Lugans to the gold medal at the perfect five? Didn't you know Ryan O'Neill's daughter's name is Tanaya? Didn't you know I cannot abide it? Didn't you know the name of this poem is Information Core? And this is from one of the uh, 60 songs, uh, Runaway. A tutor, a tutor, 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 tutor. Why? 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 So we're going to get a longer list. Bigger um, the number, the more messy it becomes, especially in French. So it's only like 21, Cantina, 80, Cajabac, 90, Cajabanis, and different variations of that. So I took those out. However, there is one that I really enjoy. It's a, uh, from an air language. And well, I'll share it with you. It is, didn't you know? The German word by no is 10. Uh, 
but feels rough as crystal adornments on the dress. The cleansing fills your briefs and tie and a finer grade foundation. Touching water only temporarily tempers my passion drive due to lack of satisfaction. Admiring the artistry of the landscape builds an appreciation. Lack of expression brings depression of isolation. Mass numbers of audience are not necessary. So I want you to listen and speak insulting neither my spirit nor my respect for other people. I lay down the rest, yearning for comfort or kindness and affection. All while enjoying, enjoying using all of my senses to cherish beauty in my time.
Don't tend to cradle my fragile soul. These stiletto hip bones will puncture your precious leather jacket. Pastel flowers may dance across my face, but they hardly grace the surface. The facade everyone deserves to see does not pinpoint who I will always be. But please buy into this illusion made by sleight of hand and minor misdirection. Did you miss the point or was there ever one? Where did I lose you this time? I'll articulate my intentions clearly this time. I'll walk you through the motions this time. I'll share the secrets to my tricks this time. You'll understand me this time. December 8, 2017. <laughs> I'm at the gas station buying cigarettes again because my shitty habits get me out of bed. I don't remember leaving my room or getting into my car or walking into the gas station, but I grasp reality a moment to communicate what I need to the person with no face and mumbled speech. The dissociation keeps me distant. Sometimes distance is what I need. Solitude keeps my anxiety at ease, but loneliness drowns out trigger warnings. I'm not always so calm. Forgive the lack of attention. I'm not sure where I even am. I don't really want to know. Please leave me be, but don't leave me alone. Oh, right. But Barry's here. 
And Barry Graham um, says that uh, because anyone sharing their soul deserves to be heard. So please give it up for Barry Graham. <laughs> So here it is. 
fuck the place you were born. If it was that great, you'd still be there. Home is where your heart is. Thank you. Washington Wild, 
whose eyes, by turns, troll and veil, and then can't. The new to us coast is cold, far from our land home, and the smaller ocean edging ancient world from this one. Something more than future movement we secretly expect and claim. Some wondrous thing made for internet and nature TV. We may take video, snap little stills, binoculars tease the back of close up. But it's the bare look to sea spray and rocks, cradled in the setting sun, nothing but prescription sunshades, and then about the thrills. Sudsy flicks of ocean arms squeeze the beach, where remnant foam regathers in the formless current and jutted so wash. Rinsed by the oil slick of land's shade. Promontories hugging back. Each side holds fast to their love, their bond. Past the crusted boulders, compass and rough ribs, we scan the weedy waves with two short, craning necks. The sea's face quilts copper through the tents, gilt roofs on vast surface, reluctant aquarium holding fathoms on solid. A wet coat plunges, black coffee chestnut sheen poured from a draft cup, porous and question marks. Do I mistake otter skull for uplifted sun shadow? Of sinking lip curl, tossing salt, grill, and faint light? No mistake or encore on the sight of the thickest fur. Pale headed, black eyed, with quick five finger things. Belly up, becoming a raft. Mother suckles her one pup. We won't see. She hunts and scratches. Stones press mollusks. Sharp teeth keep urchin hunts checked and held alive. Mom holds babe in the thrones. Swallowed safe as she comes. Small and smile too wide, a 
on the street the common lizard tries to hide. He tears out, sweeping over stones and gardens dry. The city lizard takes the fly, but not alone. He scales the court garden lane and stops to drink. One common lizard in the safe has sipped his last. It is a dangerous decree, buzzing bikes and trucks. The city lizard thinks he likes his scouts debris. This common lizard watches me and with each glance I wonder at his circumstance. How he's not free. His eye so jaunty, striking while he hunts through boundless shadows, twilight wind. It is a melancholy zone. The cars that zoom around the city lizard make his home a hazard. But where, between the concrete and the brazen street, can common lizards go? Please let them know. For more about verse writing and reading, nature stories, travel guides to Scotland, outlander fans, book, film, and music reviews, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and some of my original poems. I have copies of the card from my blog. If anyone is interested to know exactly how to get there, the spell is off. <laughs> and don't forget to buy the Wayward Sword Literary Magazine published by Writing Express. Woo! Yeah, right. Yes. Uh, or that poems are included in that as well. River mouths gave wide, yawning bull sharks in to hunt the unseen. <laughs> Scolded surf curls on itself, ashamed its crashing disintegrates pearls. <laughs> God's finger stirs the tides in and out while he snoozes. Focus, not the twilight. So it's called of all the signs of spring. How is it that of all the signs of spring, bulbs budding and blooming, birds once off returning, padlocks for summer clothes and swimsuits, lawn greening trucks and green lawns swollen for the cause of mud? Rabbits, baby rabbit ventures, showers, thunder, thunder snow, swift snow melts, even high winds, high clouds, long wind warm, and lights longer days. The least struggle departure should be the shining sun. Why does that crisp, bright light, its brassy heat, and golden hue causing such stirrings, a deeper, deeper, lovelier blue sky? Why does the sun's shine pretend an inner dullness? Inescapable oppression of the heart, the soul's own shadowing over. A deadness of ashes turned blacker for the beauty's cast on the leaf. And so fully, the more I look, the more I sit and stare out the window that is a door I can open. But from my blanched sight, from just this, one glows eyeless glare. She is Jesus. She is a Christ. She makes Prozac obsolete. She endures my transgressions until she is crucified by her addiction. 
and her eyes forget what she once saw in me. Her blood is shed by dark energy. She calls it the oldest currents poured out on canvases and stone floors and Dostoyevsky's tombs to protect our common dream, to keep me from evil, to wash me of my sin. She is a Sunday morning hangover when my head pounds with whiskey, and she is the divine gift of forgetfulness. She is my stomach redeemed by ham and eggs and a gallon of water, and my mind is restored by her reassurances that everything is a dream. While platitudes and Bible verses from the small town Baptist church down the street, where foolish audacity pretends to have conquered the God, roll across ancient desert floors, enduring egregious transfiguration on sermon-stained red carpet, enshrouding the flowered stages of fat men and wrinkled Pentecostal queens, decomposing inside the wombs of old masculine crones, drying up on sermon-stained bedsheets at the highway motel, where creatures copulate with the dam and forget mammalian sympathy and sleep inside a stranger's cloak and wake to the horror of their crimes and conceal sins with salvation by faith alone. And they damn my Catholic repetitions and beaded mumblings and pilgrimages and long redemptions and far off holy places, transcendence and eminence entirely inside my brain. She is a sobriety and honesty at first light. She is a river of dream flowing through Sunday morning hair of the dog, drinking hangovers into a sea of forgetfulness and covering them up with beer and football and eggs. She likes her eggs sunny side up with salt and pepper and all the animal proteins floating on the surface of her rock. She likes her eggs with whispers of confession and communions and regrets. She absolves me in the dreadful gray of dawn when remembering and re-remembering is an involuntary act. Her faces are inarticulate vespers that tear at the leather bindings of Sunday school phylacteries, where the icons of the Western Empire are memorialized in sterile and bloodless monthly communion, served up in a sanitized bourgeois buffet from plastic platters and plastic shot glasses and bleached and rich white soda crackers and grape juice cocktails squeezed from the thighs of Baptist wives, thawed from ice and poured into unborn bastions, insulated countless cells from the general elegy with fantasies and perversions and cheap ejaculates dripping from the tongues of Sabbath morning ambassadors of the divine and platitudes muttered during small talk from public forums by God's politicians and the children of the certifiably insane who run the joint because you see, life would be far too complex in doing your rebel. But Jesse J refused to wear the black hat. Life would be less than a constructed American dream if the lone Baptist ranger rebel. If the lone Baptist ranger refused to wear the white hat. If the villain and the priest cross-dressed, if honesty was a dare taken up in the face of cosmic dread, she is crucified for my transgressions. She rises from the dead daily. She endures the slant of whispers bending elusive truth into new and terrible forms. She gives birth and rebirth in a naked space of a stand of trees along a coastal highway with wind carrying the echo of other lives and other drownings and the voices they consume from waves foaming white and black on the banks of scattered, on the backs of scattered bits of bone, never quite buried, never quite forgiven, never entoured in a sea of forgetfulness. She gives me pills that recreate my face in all the mirrors of the world. She affects the marriage of the sacred and the profane. She gives cartilage and sinner to my daydream. 
She saves me from my sins. She leaves me clean and cold and abandoned, but not alone. She remembers me fondly after the blood-soaked summer nights have slipped away. She slips away with me. She leaves me with the residue and the wake, drunk on the bank of this big river that cuts through the darkening periphery of Detroit City, fighting off the savage wakefulness I got drunk to forget, staggering through the memory of my father's white t-shirt world. My old man with his old truck told me to join the Navy, the only advice he ever gave me. And I fled into the night to expand the corners of my country. and return to my position as the bearer of family sin, the perpetual pallbearer and fellow woodcutter, the ditch digger and journeyman grave digger. With sweat on my torso and the sun on my face and the shovel on my shoulders, a heathen consumer of hogs, blood, and puddings with onions and pepper and salt and please transfigure my subscription to our forefathers' banquet so that my own private eschatology will come in peace. She brings me to my self-created communion this is too, with otherness making I and thou obsolete. And I offer a strength, bon voyage, to the field hospital of my raggedy, sneaker youth with a clumsy wave I learned from Tom Tom, the old farmer man riding his bicycle to work, the old farmer man driving his tractor to work, the old farmer man who couldn't read or write or hear anything quieter than a scream, the old farmer man who lived and died among swine, Jesus Christ who keeps a tin cup on a rusty nail, pounded into a beam in the slaughtering barn. Jesus, who slips the shiny blade into the hog's throat as particles of dust dance in the morning sun, as particles of dust dance in the silence between blood and death, dance about the silhouettes of the men of the field, in sermon stained coverall shedding great drops of sweat between sowing and reaping Tom Tom, who places that tin cup beneath the artery. Yeshua HaMashiach who watches as it fills with fresh born blood. Jesus who watches it spill over onto his blessed hands. Carved from stone in a field of gray and rain in the north of France. Tom Tom who loves the smell of hog's blood. Human flesh, fresh hay. Joshua who can't hear the squeals of defiance. Tom Tom who loves the wind blowing in one bar and out in one barn door and out the other. Jesus Christ who is stayed in the dyes of iron and gray pre-war America. Tom Tom who tips his cup to the gods he makes drunk with communions of blood and flesh. Tom Tom who drinks blood in the morning and wine in the night with the gods and monsters who recreated. He hangs the cup back on its nail, collects the rest of the blood in a tin bowl, exits the barn, climbs the old, broken-down wooden farmhouse steps, inhales deep the fragrance of a century-old lilac beside the window pane, sets bowl and blood on counter in the kitchen. A true Gentile, the Christ of the Christ.
described as a storyboard for an upcoming feature film. We have issue one and issue two available for free in promotion of the upcoming tour produced by Rebel Sand and Media. As well as that also out at the that's uh, that's at the get at the canopy. At the canopy. Okay. So yeah, the our canopy tent is out on Court Street between third and fourth. Fourth and fifth. Sorry, between fourth and fifth. You walk out of the road, you'll see it. Yes. All right, so I should double check if anybody else walked in that was, no, nope. I don't see anybody else that was on our list nope. to perform today, um, or at least for this particular show. We have, we have some people here who are features in later shows, including something that's going to be happening right out here at the Canopy. Uh, we're going to do a demonstration of the word fight, S-W-O-R-D. Uh, so that is a head-to-head -head competition between two performers with words. Uh, so kind of a combination of an epic rap battle and a MMA fight. And <laughs> we do need some judges for this demonstration. So if you want to get your judgment on, then uh, please let me or Asriel know, and you can be as judgy as you want to be. And uh, so yeah, we need three of you. Oh, what time will we, will we be starting?